starting where we left off last time, we defeated Wall of Flesh, which, surprisingly, was really easy. Probably because of the Knight's Edge, with all the potions that we have. Then I decided, oh, I'm gonna put away my trophies. Well, speaking of trophies, I kind of wanted a place to put my trophies, kind of like a trophy rack, but not really just a rack. I wanted to have a little bit more than just a rack. You know, going back to wanting to do a little bit more pixel art, I was like, oh, what if I put it inside of a giant rock that has a bunch of swords in it? Because that, it goes along with my melee character. That's why we have the shield there as well, is because of the melee character. I'm trying to make everything fit a little bit better with the type of character or class that I'm playing as, which is melee. So. Wanted to make everything fit a little bit better. While I'm here, let me just say, guys, we blew up on the last video. It has 1.4 thousand views. That is my most viewed video on this channel, which was surprising. I never expected that video to get 1.4 thousand views. It was insanity. Five minutes, and I posted it, went to bed, woke up the next morning. I was like, oh, okay, cool, 72 views. You know, that's kind of my normal for these videos. Right, go to school, chilling in school, and I'm like getting notification after notification after notification on comments, and I'm like, okay, so my phone's finally, you know, going through comments and whatnot. YouTube's finally giving me those notifications. So I'm going, replying to comments, and then I check YouTube Studio. I just got freaking 700 views, and I'm like, wait, what? Hold up, 700, this is a fu- Wait, what, okay, what did I do to make this look good? Because this is the same exact type of thumbnail that I did last time. So I have no clue what I did. I'm glad that it blew up though, cause I mean, it was a really fun video and I did love, love making that video. I did rush it unfortunately. And thanks to the comments that are up on the screen, people are like, oh, hey, by the way, you can slow down your videos. You can slow it down a little bit. Uh, totally agree. That's why this one is like 20 minutes long because I was like, yeah, I rushed that one a little bit. I was kind of, I really wanted to get that video out. Cause I was like, oh, you know, I, I, had it ever, I had it up and everything, but I wasn't able to get it out. So this is what my my rock looks like so far. Found the shimmer biome and was like, oh, hey, you know, we can go and upgrade some stuff. Like, uh, get the heart thing for jump, dropping it in, and then the fruit. I don't know the name for all this stuff. But then I was also like, oh, hey, I have my, my summoner emblem from the wall of flesh. And if I throw that in, I can change it to be a warrior emblem. So I threw it in and I didn't get the warrior emblem. I actually got, I believe that's the mage, the, the, oh, the summoner, sorry, the summoner emblem. And then, you know, I was dealing with a bunch of mobs, which was really unfortunate. I freaking hate the mobs in the sh shimmer biome because nine times out of 10, it's just the stupid archers and I can't do anything. And I keep getting the summoner and other emblem. I don't know what the other one was, I think it, I have no clue, okay? I just know that there were so many times, I threw it in like two or three times, and then I died right as it became a warrior emblem, which was super, super annoying because I was like, come on, I, I really need this warrior emblem because it goes with my character. So I came back, grabbed the warrior emblem, I'm like, finally, okay, I have the warrior emblem, I'm going back. And I decided to, oh, you know, I'll just go and work on on my uh, trophy room again. And while we're here, might as well finish my story. So with 700, 700 views, and then I'm like, all right, there's no way this is gaining any more traction. This is gonna, this is gonna like be done here in like four, four, four minutes, five minutes, you know? And then I check after class and I'm like, okay, it's at 1.4 thousand views. What on earth? So it's insanity. Uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, thank you to my buddy Gabe from the Spontaneous Channel. If you guys like Star Wars, if you guys like Disney, and you want to learn more about some of the rides and whatnot, he put out a video talking about a ride that had not yet been put out was in production. They were like, "Oh yeah, this would be a good idea," and then they never put it out. I have no clue how he got the information on that. Man's a freaking legend when it comes to finding this stuff. Definitely go check it out. It was super interesting. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan myself, but watching it, I was like. Dang, okay, okay, wow, I never knew, I never knew that. And so, you know, he, he has a really cool video talking about, you know, this ride that never came out, and he did a really cool 3D blender animation. He asked me how to set up the camera for it and everything, so I, I explained it to him, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So, go check out that video. It's down in the description. It's gonna be the first link down in the description. Um, 
But yes, thank you again, Gabe. Gabe was the one who was like, hey, by the way, if you do this, you can get more views. If you do this, you get more views. If you do this, you get more views. So he really inspired me to be like, okay, how do, how do I make better content, right? Because it's not, I don't really care for views, but he was like, dude, there's something wrong. Look, you have 85 subscribers, but you're only getting like two to three views a video. I'm like, yeah. He's like, here's what you need to do. So then he's like, oh, do this. So I tried it, got a couple more views. I'm like, all right, cool. And then I was like, well, what do I want to do? And I decided I still want to play video games. Video games are so much fun to play and just recording my progress and, you know, trying to learn all these different things with these different classes and whatnot, like in Terraria that I'm doing right now has been so much fun. And then I get to go and I get to share, share sorry, I get to go and share my experience and be like, oh, this is, this is what I learned. Don't make the same mistake that I did, you know? And I just, I really enjoy that. That's something that I like doing. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's what I'll do with my channel is I'll, you know, let people know, hey, maybe try not to do what I did. Um, I believe here the mechanical worm spawn, why well, I spawned in the mechanical worm, one of the two, I know that the mechanical worm spawns in. And so I tried to take it head on with my legendary knight's edge because I saw a video of somebody doing it. They're like, oh, all you need is the knight's edge. I'm like, yeah. Great, that's gonna work, I'll do that. So I got my Knight's Edge and I do not at all have the right equipment, but you know what? <laughs> uh, I, I die and I was like, yeah, no, I was not at all prepared for this fight. So I tried again, cause why wouldn't I do that? It's such a me thing to do, try again. Just the Knight's Edge, you know, nothing else. I didn't change any of my, my stuff. This time I actually had potions and whatnot, which took me quite a while to get and I'm like oh yeah this is working a lot better and then I went down into the worm for who knows why I'm I swear sometimes I do the stupidest things but that's okay I do it so you don't have to so don't go head on into the mechanical worm it's not gonna work and you're gonna lose all your NPCs like I did and you're gonna die so don't hate me for this after I couldn't do it, I decided to do the cheese with the dynamite and you throw the dynamite down and it kills the mechanical worm. I did it because I couldn't kill him with the stupid knight's edge. I couldn't do it. I don't know why I couldn't do it. I watched videos on how to do it and I was like, okay, this is what I need, this is what I need. I guess I just wasn't skilled at that point to do it. So I was like, oh, I'll just do the next best thing. I'll cheese it. Because, yeah, cheeses are fun. So I did it so that I could get the armor and I could get the light discs because, I mean, those light discs are freaking amazing. They're, they're super cool. Uh, but while, while the fight's going on, might as well talk about some of the comments again that I got. Uh, there was one really, really funny one that I read and I was like, oh shoot. So then I went and watched my video after I had edited and everything. Um, and he was totally right. He's like, oh, this is like a five minute seizure. I'm like, oh my gosh, I did that? I, why did I do that? Like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I can't believe you just did that. What, why did you put eight hours and make a full eight hour thing into 30 seconds? Why would you do that? And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, it was such a good idea though. No, it was not a good idea. That was not a good thing to do. But after we destroyed the destroyer, we put the trophy in the trophy room. Sorry, I'm trying to continue. I'm trying to follow along with the video, but I'm getting it's frozen on my screen while I'm looking at it and trying to narrate over it. It's frozen. I'm sorry. But I just want to thank everybody for the comments. A lot of them were like really good. They're like, oh, this video is really good. This video is really good. And then a lot of them, I was like, okay, the. These are the people that I want to keep commenting because it's like, hey, you know, you could do this better if you did this or, oh, you could do this, by the way. It's like, oh, oh, thank you. Like, I kid you not, those are my favorite, those are some of my favorite comments when it's like, hey, by the way, did you know you could do this? And it does kind of the same thing or, hey, by the way, you don't have to do this, you know, because I don't know what it is with me, but me personally, I just I enjoy feedback I like when people are like oh hey by the way if you do this it's better right like when Gabe gave me advice and he's like hey you know you're not 
you're not getting very many views, but you have a lot of subscribers. I, I didn't take it offensively. I wasn't like, bro, what? Thanks, man. Thanks. No, I was like, really? Well, well, what do you mean? So then he explained it to me and I was like, oh, okay. And so he's telling me how to how to get all this stuff going. I'm like, okay, okay. That that makes a lot of sense. So I, tr I start doing that. And so, yeah, I'm getting more views now. And it's like, oh, hey, look, you have 60 views. I'm like, hey, that's one of my better videos. Okay. And the next one, you got 58 views. Hey, that's pretty good. The next one, 42. I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. So then I did more research. I'm like, okay, well, you know, what else do I need to do? And then I watched a YouTuber and he's like, well, first be honest with yourself. What are you trying to accomplish with your channel? And I was like, whoa, okay. Yeah, what do I want to accomplish with my channel? So I'm thinking about it. I'm like, well, I'm thinking about the name, I'm like tactic. Crazy games, tactic crazy games. Oh, what do I want? I'm like, okay, tactics. You know, it'd be pretty cool to share some tactics and be like, oh, hey, don't do what I did, do it better, right? And explain how to do it better. I'm like, okay, that that could be a pretty cool concept. I like that. I'm like, games. I love playing video games, right? Video games are pretty much what this channel is built off of other than the, the goofy shorts that I do, which will be being posted to a different channel. Uh, I know that I'm kind of talking in the middle of my uh, spasmacism and retinazer twins fight, which I'm using the godly light discs because they're just, the light discs are just one of the best weapons when defeating the mechanical bosses. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend because it just made both fights so much easier, especially when I figured out, oh, hey, this is how you actually fight the bosses instead of, I'm just going to try and I'm going to try to figure it out as I go, which was not a smart decision, but it's the one I did. But I was like, okay, crazy games. Okay, games, I play games on the channel, crazy. I don't do anything really crazy. I don't do anything too crazy. So I was like, all right, oh, here's what crazy could mean. And I'm like, all right, crazy like game breaking strategies or crazy game breaking uh, farms that you can make. So I'm like trying to figure it out. I'm like, all right, well, what can crazy mean? I, I'm just also just a pretty crazy person as it is like Look at me. I go head on into the twins fight without knowing what the heck I'm doing No research whatsoever on what is the best equipment to have for the twins and I'm I've got one almost dead already um, Unfortunately though, I do die to I believe yep Spasmatism I believe that's spasmatism or is it retinazer? I don't know which one's which I have it in my, my boss, my basic boss breakdown, which is in the top right corner. Definitely recommend watching that one too. That's a good video as well. Uh, oh, also, if you haven't seen the, the first episode of this, like the first little bit, which is free hard mode, which if you haven't, wow, you know, it's, I think it's the one that gained the most traction and made people be like, oh, hey, I'm going to go and watch some of his videos. So like, oh, hey, I'm going to subscribe. You know, it's, it's a crazy video. Um, it's also in the top right corner, and then also Gabe's video should probably be up in the top right corner as well. That's even a thing I can do. That would be dope, so that I could just be like, ah, oh, hey, go check it out over there as well. But I want to thank the Spontaneous channel again because, you know, Gabe's just super cool and helped me out with that stuff. And thank you to everybody who was watching the video and is like, oh, by the way, you can do this differently, you can do this better, here's how you do this. You know, I just want to thank you guys so much while I'm fighting the twins, you know, because... What else am I gonna do? I could just talk about, oh, look at me dodge. Look, I, I did that thing right there. Yeah, see? Oh, I mean, I guess I could go over what to do. You want to go kind of around Retinazer. I think that's the one. Retinazer, I believe, is the green one. You want to go around in circles around him. And then when it comes to spasmatism, you just... Oh, wait. No, that one's Retinazer. The one I'm... Okay, spasmatism, you go around in circles. Retinazer, you just, you know... You just dodge their their uh, lasers until they're done shooting at you, or you kill them. It's pretty basic. I don't know why I, I lost the first one, but I did. Also, did you know that only one percent, like point zero zero point one percent of people were subs are subscribed to my channel that watch my videos? Like, uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, I thought that number was really hilarious. Um, so I don't mind the fact that it's that number, but if everybody who watched the last video subscribed, we'd be at 500, which is my goal. I want to be at 500 subscribers. 
I think that'd be really cool. And with the, with how fast we're doing it, we could probably do it before the end of this year. Also, I decided to fight Duke Fishron. Um, I'm just gonna tell you now, that was a mistake. Um, cause... I don't... I don't know how to describe it. I... I like Duke Fishron. Duke Fishron, I think, is... Is easier than Plantera with... Depending on which class you play in. Cause definitely when you're playing as a mage, it was so much easier to just go kill Duke Fishron, get the, um... Uh, Razorblade Typhoon, and just... Get the bubble gun and go kill, uh, plant, yeah, Plantera. This is so, so much easier to do that, but I don't know what it is with Duke Fishron. It's just, yeah, I think it's because, you know, he's a giant fish. I have no platform set up. I clearly didn't plan this out. I was like, oh yeah, this will be fine. This will be a-okay. No, horrible. Don't do that, guys, please. If you do fights, if you learn anything from me, it's set up your arena and have a game plan. Don't do what I do and just, oh, I'll just jump right into it. I'm not going to die or anything. So I actually magic mirrored out because I was like, uh, no. I'd rather, I'd rather not die to Duke Fishon. I'd rather just lose. I'd just leave. So that's what I did, which, you know, is unfortunate. But afterwards, we went and fought Plantera because, you know, I was like, all right, can't kill Duke Fishon. I'll do Plantera next. Which, um, I made a arena for, kind of. <laughs> Kind of made an arena for Plantera. It's not a very good arena. And it was super far away, which was unfortunate. But, yeah, no, the the Plantera fight this, this time is uh, not great. Because I didn't really have a platform. I had, like, a huge open area, and I was like, oh yeah, that's good enough. And then I start mining Chlorophyte, because I need Chlorophyte for... I think an armor set. I think I was working on making the uh, turtle armor. I don't think I had turtle armor yet. But yeah, see, this is not a good idea. If you if you look, I'm like going all over the place, and I have nowhere to grab onto, so I have to fall down onto areas where I am constantly getting stuck, or I'm running into stuff. See, and I realize I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to win, so magic mirror. So I just magic mirrored out of there again because I, 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 I I'm a coward. Jeez. Look at me. I'm a coward. I'm running from the fight. I don't die with honor. <laughs> That's not a thing I do, apparently. That's unfortunate. So, I actually created an arena this time, and I decided to go fly, fight Plantera. Also, I made the, the farm that you saw up there um, in the last one. I think I forgot to put it in, but I know I made it pre-hard mode. You always want to make that farm in pre-hard mode, because in hard mode, it's just so much, so much harder. Um, I also got the true Excalibur because for whatever reason I was watching some stuff because I was like, okay, well, what is the best tactics for Plantera? You know, because I'm I'm always learning and I always want to learn more things. So I'm like, okay, I have an idea of what I think is going to work the best, but what are people saying? And they're like, oh, the best weapons to have are the uh, Death Scythe from uh, the Grim Reapers during the Solar Eclipse or Blood Moon. I can't remember which one. Um, so I got one of those, and then they're like, oh, but the next best weapon is, uh, True Excalibur. I'm like, great, True Excalibur, hit me up, let's do this. I did die, but that's because, you know, I didn't have a very good platform. You'll see on this next one that the platform's just a little bit better. But, True Excalibur, with all of the, uh, buffs that I've been having, are really good. Right? They, the, uh, what is it? The Inferno one that goes around me. That one's the most fun to like get the materials for because it's it's fishing in the hell biome, which sucks, but it's a lot of fun because I kept getting like endless lava buckets, bottomless lava buckets or whatever. And it was just, it's a lot of fun to go and fish, okay? I do want to say that there was a comment that was like, ain't no way he like fishing. There's no Terraria player that likes fishing. Ain't no way. And uh, somebody else was like, Fishy crew, where you at? Or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but those comments are all up on screen. Uh, but I could not help but sit there laughing with my buddy Carson. I'm like, dude, look at this. And we're just sitting there laughing. We're like, yeah, this is great. Because that's the thing, is I also post videos to help out my buddy Carson, who is just getting into Terraria and has no clue what he's doing. That's a lie, actually. He knows he knows a lot more than I, than I give him credit for. He knows a lot, guys. He knows a lot about this, because he... He plays with people who, who know what they're doing as well, and they're like, oh, hey, yeah, this, this and that, this and that, right? So he's always 
getting more information on it. So, sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to dog on you, dog. Sorry about that. That was totally unnecessary. He's he's cool. Carson's the best. Uh, love Carson. Carson's amazing. But like with the he was asking me how you get the uh, the not Excalibur, the Knight's Edge, because I was playing with him around, right? I play with on my laptop, so I play sometimes when we're at the ALC and we have like 45 minutes before school starts, and it's like, yeah, all right. So I uh, turn on Terraria and I was using the uh, True Knight, not the True Knight's Edge, just the Knight's Edge, and he goes, dude, sword, gimme, how get? I'm like, uh, you get it like this, but that is Planetara defeated, guys. Uh, now I just gotta go and. Put the uh, Plantera trophy inside of the trophy room, and that's pretty much the end of this video. But I do want to thank you all so much again for watching this video and watching my videos and helping me gain the uh, subscriber count and whatnot. Um, if you did like, please leave a like, subscribe. It does help me out a lot, and I do want to try to reach 500 before the end of this year, which is totally doable. We got two months, and we gained from uh, what is it? 80, 88 subscribers all the way to 123 now. That's like 40 subs. If we did 40 subs every week, which is nowhere near possible in my mind, there's no way. I got 14 subs on the last video, but if we could get 14 subs um, for every video up until December, I totally think that we could totally do it. So if you guys could help me out with my goal of mine of hitting 500 subscribers, that'd be great. If this video gets any more traction like the other one did, that's totally doable. Half the people who watch just gotta hit that subscribe button. I do plan on making more videos explaining how some of the stuff works, but I will see you guys in the next one.